I'm Justina Harrison and welcome to Influential Performances. This is a series that will talk about actors and their influential performances. Actors and actresses that have really stood out, really affected us and really touched us with their work and their acting. I'm an actor too, as well as a producer and writer, and I've been working in film intelligent and theater for a long time. I work in front of the camera and sometimes I work behind the camera too. You can check me out on IMDb and see that I have over 25 credits. I have always loved film and acting, and I love watching other actors perform, and I love watching each person's unique take on roles. So let's get to it for the premiere episode of Influential Performances. Today we're going to start the premiere episode of Influential Performances by talking about the 2020 Emmy winner for Best Actor in a Drama Series, Jeremy Strong. The series is Succession. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some clips from the show to highlight his performance, his influential performance. And I'm also just going to give a brief rundown of his career and background. He's gotten more popular over the last two or three years because of this really incredible show on HBO that's also won Golden Globes for Best Drama Series. He has a big audience and a lot of people are crushing on him, myself included. If you head on over to the Succession subreddit, you will see a bunch of crushes and discussion about Jeremy Strong and the character he plays, Kendall Roy. Jeremy Strong has been acting for a considerable amount of time. He studied at both Yale and RADA, Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London. And Jeremy Strong has been in the industry for a long time. He's been working now in front of the camera, but has also worked in some capacities behind the camera, including as an assistant to Daniel Day-Lewis on films like The Ballad of Jack and Rose. He also worked on The Crucible that featured Daniel Day-Lewis. It's been said, and Jeremy has said in interviews, that being around such an influential actor of Daniel Day-Lewis, um, someone who is so magnanimous in his performance capacities, helped uh, Jeremy Strong figure out his acting style and helped um, contribute to how he performs currently as an actor. And so some of that may include method acting. And it's been said by sources close to me that if you're on the set of Succession, even after the director yells cut, Jeremy Strong will stay in character as Kendall Roy and sometimes even introduce himself as Kendall Roy. My uh, not so spotless reputation precedes me. <laughs> Whether or not you watch Succession, you may recognize Jeremy Strong from some of the other movies he's been in recently. These include The Judge, Selma, The Big Short, Zero Dark Thirty, and more recently The Gentleman. Jeremy Strong also played Jerry Rubin in The Trial of the Chicago Seven, written and directed by Aaron Sorkin. This film was nominated for multiple Oscars in 2021 and won the top award at the SAG Awards, Best Ensemble in a Motion Picture. The Big Short was a big thing for Jeremy Strong, partly because he worked with director Adam McKay, who was one of the creators of Succession. They became colleagues on the set of The Big Short and discussed working on Succession together. Originally, Jeremy Strong was actually looking at the role of Roman Roy, who's Kendall Roy's brother. To be totally honest with you, when I first read it, I thought, oh, Roman is a really fun part to play yes. this sort of bon vivant prick. But for anyone who watches the show, thinking about anyone else playing the role of Roman besides Kieran Culkin, the current actor who plays him, is just too strange. But we need to control the narrative. Control the narrative. You probably yell that when you come. Oh, control the narrative. Oh, control it. Control the narrative. Oh. Now let's get into Jeremy's strong performance on the show Succession as the character Kendall Roy. And why it's so special. One thing that's really wonderful is that Jeremy Strong brings this really emotional vulnerability to the role of Kendall. And honestly, Kendall has some issues. In the hands of another actor, the character could be way too unlikable. But Jeremy Strong really brings the pathos of the character to the forefront. You really see the pain and the brokenness in his eyes, which is a real big plus because sometimes the character is not a nice person. Like right there. Sorry about the uh, cloak and dagger. I just needed some time to untangle all your shit. Why? Because my dad told me to. Because your dad told you to? Jesus Christ, because your dad told you to? You, you fucked it, bro. Uh, go find some other chicken coop, cunt. But <laughs> you actually end up liking Kendall because you see that sadness and kind of broken child energy that's there. That clip, not really, but you'll see as I go on. In some ways, he reminds me of what Michael Imperioli was able to do with the character of Christopher Moltisanti on HBO's other hit show, The Sopranos. What makes Strong's performance so special here is because Succession is a very unique show in and of itself. It is not a sweet show. It has a very cold, 
element to the core of the show, even though it switches quickly between drama and comedy. You're laughing one moment and feeling very sorry the next moment. And the characters are very unkind to each other. Unfortunately, it deals with a lot of buried emotional and family abuse. They're a family, but in any other circumstance, they may not be considered one because they're so awful to each other. Which is awful, but it's also part of some of the part of the fun of the show, if you know what I mean. But what happens with Jeremy Strong's performance is that he brings this really emotional core to the show, which without it, the show wouldn't be what it is today and may likely not be as popular. The supporting cast and the other series regulars are so strong too, but Jeremy Strong's performance of Kendall brings this really emotional depth and layer and vulnerability to the show that wouldn't necessarily be there otherwise. Now let's just move on to a quick plot synopsis of the show Succession. Basically, Logan Roy, Kendall's father, is the patriarch of a very, very rich family that owns a media conglomerate similar to, say, the Murdochs or those kinds of families. A kind of dynastic, dynastic family that is about to transfer power. First, Kendall Roy is the heir apparent as he's the oldest. Then, Logan decides not to retire. So a battle of the wills ensue for per control of the company and the family's fortunes. It's very Shakespearean with a lot of Xanax and puck offs, if you will. The first clip I'm going to show you is from early on in season one. Kendall has just had sex with his ex-wife, Rava. I'd love to show you the clip here. <clears throat> hey, Rava, why don't we just do it all? You know, back together? Look, I, um... I... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, um... So as you can see in this just brief clip, you're seeing a lot of the pain that's hidden but that's brought to the surface by Jeremy Strong's performance. You can see that he still loves his ex-wife and that he still wants to be with her. This is shown with no words, very little dialogue, and just a look. Here's the moment one more time in slow motion. The sadness behind Strong's eyes is palpable and makes you care for Kendall. So one of the things that's so great about Succession is that Kendall's character is sort of very sensitive even though he's constantly trying to hide the sensitivity. And this is in direct conflict with his father, Logan, who's more of like a killer or likes to call himself a killer. This emotional sensitivity that Kendall has, Logan does not. So one of the main co core conflicts of the show is this difference between father and son. That conflict is like so dramatic. It like makes the show. And so now I'm going to bring you to one of the best acted scenes in season one and potentially in the whole series and potentially on television. Let's be real. This is the day after Kendall killed the, the waiter in the car accident and left the scene. Logan and his stepmother, Marsha, Logan's second wife, third wife, have found out and they confront Kendall. Watch us here and see what I mean about Jeremy's vulnerability. The police are here. We just want you to check if you had anything stolen last night. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe you should check again. Um, this kid, I think he might have been a thief who broke into your room and took your card. Right. So we'll let them know what was taken. Okay, right. Dad, I, I, I mean, I, I... Yeah, this has been quite stressful. What? Tell Stewie the thing looks like a shit show. Go to the desert. Dry yourself out. You have not been yourself. There's nothing... I don't, I don't think, um... And I wasn't there, so... This could be the defining moment of your life. It'd eat everything. A rich kid kills a boy. You'd never be anything else. <laughs> or you know, it could be what it should be. Nothing at all. A sad little detail at a lovely wedding where father and son are reconciled. <laughs> You're my boy. You're my number one boy. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Unbelievable. I mean, Every time I watch that scene, it, it's like incredible. I mean, you see the vulnerability so clearly, the crying is so natural, it is heartbreaking for a character that's 
so questionable in their morals and their motives. It wasn't even scripted. It was just like in the room that day, that's kind of what happened. And so I think that kind of speaks to like the way that this actor performs in this sort of methody, like very connected way. I mean, it's really an incredibly acted scene on both of their parts, but especially just with the tears. It's truly remarkable. So from there, we're gonna go to season two. This is from one of the early episodes in season two when Marcia, Kendall's stepmother, confronts him about what had happened in the accident. Check it out. Ça va? How was your trip? It was good, it was fine. No accidents, no hiccups? Uh, no, no hiccups. Just say, you've been through difficult times. You're a nice boy. But out of difficult times come strong men, right? Maria. Ken. Got a minute? Yeah. So again, you can see that the confrontation almost breaks him. Again, very few words. Jeremy Strong's emo emotional life and handling of the arc of this character makes this performance and the show stand out to such an incredible extent. So our next clip is from season two, episode Safe Room. Siobhan, Kendall's sister, confronts him. Ever since the sort of blackmail, if you will, Logan's sort of been taking care of him in a way that's really unique for the family. If anyone's really taking care of someone or really going out on a limb for someone in this family, it alarm bells sound because this is such a dysfunctional plan that that just doesn't happen. So what's happening here is that Siobhan confronts him because she feels that something is up and she can tell. Check this out. Um, no, no, Shiv, there's, there's no deal. I promise you. And then what? Why is he protecting you? Protecting me? <laughs> yeah, the drugs, the shoplifting, the, the fucking, the takeover bid. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh-huh. Anyway, why do you care so much? You know, what, what, what is this? What's going on here? You coming in? Can we just talk? I'm not a fucking dummy. There is an atmosphere. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he's he's just maybe uh, he's concerned about me for whatever reason. Well, for whatever reason. You'd need to ask him. You can't tell me. You can't tell me what's going on. No. Fucking look at me. Shiv, it's not gonna be me. All right. You wanna tell me why? Come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Give me a hug? Hey. You okay? I would just ask that you take care of me if dad didn't need me right now. I don't exactly know what I would be for. You want to talk some more? But, uh, hey. Thank you. Yeah, it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> so, this is truly one of the most beautiful scenes in the whole show. I mean, it's like, it like melts your cold, dark heart. And <laughs> the cold, dark heart of the show. <laughs> um, it's just lovely, like the connection between the two of them. It's one of like the most loving times between any of the siblings it is truly a, it's more of a caring scene it's more like a brother sister scene there's this conflict that can't be said but it's just lovely in a show that's not filled with this kind of stuff and this kind of in some ways love and then the last scene I'm going to show really quickly is the end of season two I think this is just a contrast the sort of 
beautiful emotional vulnerability that Jeremy Strong brings to this character because it's more of the killer energy and more of like him being the mean guy and more of him being like Logan or finally taking Logan's advice but you can see here this is at the end of season two and uh, Kendall makes some decisions about how to deal with his father and what's going on with the company. Check it out. The truth is that my father is a malignant presence, a bully and a liar and made efforts to hide and cover up. He had a twisted sense of loyalty to bad actors. My father keeps a watchful eye over every inch of his whole empire. And the notion that he would have allowed millions of dollars in settlements and compensation to be paid without his explicit approval is utterly fanciful. This is the day his reign ends. So that's all the clips I'm going to show you. I just wanted to celebrate this influential performance of Jeremy Strong as Kendall Roy in Succession. To Jeremy Strong, thank you for bringing such beautiful emotional vulnerability to a role that is so layered, so complex. We love it as an audience. I love it as an actor. You've made other actors inspired. You've made other actors better by watching your work. I really hope to work with you one day. Thanks again. Thank you, Jeremy Strong. Thanks for tuning in to the premiere episode of Influential Performances about Jeremy Strong.